One of the reasons the James Webb looks so weird, looks so different compared with Hubble or even you know, many ground-based telescopes, is that it has to be very light. In fact, it only weighs about three tons, I believe, compared with the 12 tons of Hubble, even though it's much bigger. So it has to be lightweight, and it also has to be foldable so it can fit in the shroud of a, of a rocket. So you see this telescope uh, with a little tripod with a secondary mirror at the top, and behind that telescope is this big unfolded series of sheets of, uh, of material which shield the telescope from direct sunlight. One of the fundamental questions is we want to know what were the first objects to radiate strongly in the universe. So there was a period when the universe was a big hot fireball radiating lots of energy and then it became transparent, it expanded so much it became transparent and the universe became dark. We call it the dark ages. And during those dark ages gravity was acting and you know pulling little bits and pieces closer together in, in some parts and spreading them out in other parts. And at some point, uh, things started to happen. Either black holes started to form or the first stars started to form. And at some point, one of these objects, whatever it was, started to radiate. And uh, first light in the universe after the Big Bang. Uh, and this is, you know, this is the thing that is being aimed for. So we want to find the very early objects, perhaps even the first objects that shone in the universe. And then we want to follow how they evolved into galaxies, but also how the galaxies, how the stars in the galaxies produce the heavy elements that we see around us today. So it is a grand vista we're looking at. It's not only the formation of structure of galaxies, it's the formation of the chemical elements that allow us to make planets and oceans and you know, animals and plants and bodies and so on. So it's, a, it's really a grand vista, I think. To look at these very faint objects at the edge of the universe, we need to collect a lot of light. And you, know, you can collect a lot of light by looking for a long time, uh, but also use a big telescope. So we do both. We build the biggest telescope we can, and we also look for a long time.